Looks like I'm showing the middle finger. <laughs> Never mind that. If you want an awesome Polaroid effect like this, I made it for you. The link is in the description, but I will show you how you can make it for yourself. That will also help if you have trouble installing my script for it. So you can troubleshoot it alone. And after that, I will show you how you can set up your streamer bot for it. The link for the streamer bot script is also in the description. So I made this folder for this Polaroid effect and in it are three scenes. First one is the sub scene Polaroid photo. And in it, I just created this frame, this background and put the picture of it on top. So you can see in the sources, I have this G for gradient. It's just a gradient source. Those are my settings for it. And then I added a new filter and this AM is actually the advanced mask filter. It's a plugin from Finite Singularity. Thank you for that. It's just awesome. Link is in the description. I looked up the dimensions for an actual Polaroid photo and those are the settings that I'm using. Then I created a new gradient source. That's this background here. Right click on it, filter and add an advanced mask again. This times the dimensions are a little bit different. You can just copy them, but you see it's a perfect square. Here are the settings for the color. And then I just put the picture on top. I created a new image source and I linked this image source to a file. And this file will be overwritten by Streamerbot. But since it's connected here, it will change the picture which it shows. Then I created a new sub scene called Polaroid Canvas. In it, I just created a new image source. You can choose whatever you want for your background. And then I created a source clone of the Polaroid photo scene. So click on add new source and click on source clone. It's also a plugin. Thank you, Excel for it. Without it, you can't do anything in OBS really. The link is also in the description. So you click on it, create a new source, and then you choose your sub scene Polaroid photo as a source, as you can see here. Uncheck audio and click OK. Add a new filter, shadow. Also plug in, link is in the description. Thank you, Finite, again. <laughs> it's super awesome. You have shadows, you have strokes, and you have glows with just one little plugin. Then you create another scene, sub scene Polaroid. This one is a little bit more complex, but let me show you what's in it. There's this group Polaroid stuff. That are the things you have to import. It's the Discord logo, it's just an image. So you add a new source image and put the Discord logo in it. Then we have different sounds, which I provided in my download link. You can change them how you want. So you add a new source media source, then you put in your sound files. Then I created a new source clone. For the source, I choose the Polaroid canvas scene. The white background, the color source, you don't have to mind it just for testing purposes. All of those files are invisible and will be triggered by Streamerbot later. Then I created again a new source clone and for the source I choose the sub scene Polaroid photo which is the same scene in which it is created and right click on it add filter and here we have the animation for it. So why don't we just put that on the scene itself. It doesn't work because it will affect the logo and the countdown timer as well. And we don't want that. We just want to animate Polaroid scene without affecting them globally. You could also create a new scene again and put that sub scene Polaroid in there. Then you add a new source, text GDI. These are the numbers of the countdown. I like Roboto since it's a nice font and it's highly readable. I made it a gradient, turned off the background, created an outline, choose a grayish white color for it. Then added a new filter, a new shadow, but this shadow actually is white and you can see it adds this depth to the number. And then I added a simple shadow to it. So it gives the illusion that it's more of a 3D object. And then I created at last a new source clone and 
for the source i choose the discord logo that's just because we have to work around the bug where it will not probably show everything so never mind that you don't have to understand it just do it that's everything we had to do inside of obs so now let's switch to streamer bot so you create a new action and for the trigger you create a command or whatever you want let me guide you through this script so you can understand it. The first thing that will happen is that the text in the inside of OBS, which shows the numbers, is set to the number three. So this number one, when I activate this line and test it, will be set to three. Then the state of this source will be set visible so we can see it. So first we change the appearance of it and then we make it visible. Then we enable the sound for it. So it's the same scene, but it's now a media source, Polaroid countdown, and this is the ping sound. Then we add a delay, one second, of course. Then we change the GDI text to number two, and we wait a second, then we change it again to one, and then we start the sound of the camera. Wait another second, and then we hide the GDI text. So the countdown is not visible again. And then we take a screenshot. So you right click OBS and choose take a screenshot. Then you have to choose which scene, which source it has to take the screenshot of. And this is where you have to set up which scene it is that you want to make the screenshot of. I think many people who are using my script don't know where to change this. So let me show you again. It's in OBS, take screenshot, and then you choose your scene and your source, which you want to screenshot. Then it waits a little bit, and then it activates a filter inside Polaroid Photo Move. So when we are here in our subscene Polaroid, we created a source clone of the same scene which it is in, and we added some filters to it. So I added a 3D filter. It's also a plugin, link is in the description. And then we move the sliders inside the 3D effect with those move value filters. It's also a plugin, link is in the description. So it activates the move value in. This will just animate the picture inside this corner. How can you set this up? You go to your 3D effect. Then you fiddle around with the sliders until it's in this position which you want it. So if you want to change this position, you do it inside the 3D effect. So you click on move value in so you can see it. And then you change the settings in the 3D effect filter. After you're happy with the new position, you go back to your move value in and click get values. So then when StreamerBot is triggering the move value in filter, it will move the picture to the position that you made. The same goes for the move value out. You can change this to your likings. If you want to slide it in from a different direction, you can change the X and Y positions. The shrink is when the Discord logo pops in, the picture should go behind it. And this is set up here. So if the logo and the shrinking picture is not aligned together, you can change the values inside this filter. So in this line, we just animate the picture into the screen. Then we wait for four seconds. Then we move in the Discord logo. So we just make it visible. Then we trigger the move value shrink on the Polaroid move filter, which I just showed you. And we trigger the move value in on the Discord logo. Let me show you that. So here's the source clone of the Discord logo. Right click on it, filters. Then I made a little crop because if I deactivate it, you can see there's this fading line. You can see it a little, little bit better here. And I crop that out. And the position here can define where this logo should be and the move value out brings it back but you can see it's a little bit visible now that's the reason why we had to activate this source so it's not visible at all the reason is we can't shrink it down enough so it's not visible so again we activate the source for the logo 
Then we bring the logo in and we activate the shrinking and moving behind the Discord logo of the photo. Then we wait a little bit for the animations to end. Then we activate the media source of the Polaroid whoosh sound. You can change the sound as you like. So it's just making a sound when everything is disappearing. And then we have to move everything out again. So we trigger the move out value on our photo and we trigger the move value out filter on the Discord logo. Then we hide the Discord logo. And now we have to turn off all of our media sources. So every sound we played, those sources are still on. We can't hear them because the sound ended, but we can't reactivate them when we don't hide them before. So we now have to hide every sound source. So we hide the countdown sound, we hide the take picture sound, we hide the whoosh sound, and at the end, we take a new screenshot, which is actually the screenshot that we will upload to our Discord. So the first screenshot we make is a screenshot of our webcam, which then will be cropped onto the picture and will be animated. But the second screenshot is actually a screenshot of Polaroid canvas. So of this scene here. So we have a nice background and this then will be sent to your Discord. You can disable this if you like, but what you will do is you give it a username. That's the name in the Discord with which it will post the picture. Then you have to set up your webhook. I can show you how you do that in a moment and you choose the image for it. So this image path should be the same as this image pass on your take screenshot. So you take a screenshot of this canvas, save it to a file. Then of course you open this file again and send it to your Discord. So inside your Discord, create a new channel, click on the settings, go to integration. Then now you can see here are the webhooks, click on it and you can create a new webhook. Click on it. And here it will show you the uh, URL. And this is the one you will put inside of Streamerbot. So you copy it, go to Streamerbot. And here is the webhook URL. It's on the Discord basic webhook. Double click on it and change this webhook to your Discord. So I have this nice looking glass effects chat. And if you want to do something like this for yourself, then watch this video. Bye.